Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be planning in my catch-all planner for the week of April 25th through May 1st. It is the 1st of May. How crazy is that? Um, I do have some big like plans like deadlines and stuff coming up this week and I also have some stuff going on over the weekend so I think it'll be a fun one to like incorporate some of that stuff in there. I wanted to do a challenge this week so I'm going to be doing the planable challenge which is hosted by planogram and squared plans over on instagram i will leave their handles down below as well as more information about the challenge so their theme and they they create like weekly themes for all weeks of the month and they're really fun because you can interpret them in a lot of ways and i know i'm going to be interpreting this theme much more different than they probably intended it to be that was a weird way of me. I'm, I'm going to break the rules. Um, I know they put the challenge out and they have the theme, but I'm going to break it. And the theme is One Book Wonder. And I, I know that that means, like, you make a spread using one sticker book. But I was like, we're getting close to finals week. I'm doing a lot of reading. I'm doing a lot of research. And I also got some really cute stickers from Create with Mandy. So I'm going to take things a little bit more literal and do a book themed spread. So this one is called Book Lover. It is from Create With Mandy. I just love the color palette on this with the little page scraps of the book. And I had used those like page like scraps, the book scraps um, in a different spread. So this is the book scraps. I brought those back because, you know, they match up. I also have this book washi if I want to get some more like horizontal vertical stuff in there. But it's all the same. So this is the Create With Mandy like book lover set. And then the colors on the books are the same as her tiny florals. So maybe those would go well to like add in a little bit more of an organic like element there. And then I want to bring the colors back a little bit more. I know I have so many sticker sheets today. So I got these According to Allie warm shapes and warm headers. So I thought these could be fun to layer on top of the book scraps because they're like a watercolory effect. You get some like transparency on the edges. I just want to make some clusters up, keep it functional, but keep it decorative at the same time. And I want to do this fun book themed spread. For colorful boxes, I'll probably do gold. Um, I just need to go find those at some point. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this off the discs and we will get started. So with all of my, my sticker sheets that I have here, I'm going to get a little bit of book on the pages already. I think I'm going to leave the sidebar untouched for now and then put something else over there when we get further into the video. But I'm going to put this into the innermost corner of this box. And then to kick things off, like with all of my layering elements, I want to take according to Allie's warm shapes. And I'm going to take this longer pink shape. I don't think I need to white out the watercolor or white out the lines. I feel like having them intersect would be fine. Um, just to like really heighten how transparent these stickers are. I love that intersection point where you get like the pink splotch on the book page. And then I could put a quote in here. So we have between the pages of books is a great place to be. Just one more chapter. I'll take all the books and read more books. And like for the sake of full transparency, I have been really bad about reading books for fun lately. I know I keep saying I'm going to get back into reading for fun. Um, it's just hard for me to like pick up and like start reading again, especially because like my, my job, you know, if you can call grad school a job, requires so much reading to begin with that it's kind of lost its fun for me to like go sit down and read something else because I just do so much reading to begin with. But I, I, so I know I said this was going to be one of my 2022 goals, but my summer goal is going to be to to do some more reading. Um, and I feel like I'm at a point where I can talk about this on my on my YouTube channel because um, some plans are starting to fall into place. I've actually decided that I'm going to be taking a leave of absence from grad school in the fall semester. Uh, I'm not sure about spring, but we'll see where it takes me. I'm just going to take some time away from school just because the health concerns have been like in flux this semester if you've been following along i've been having all sorts of wacky medical stuff happening um and i just need a break so i'm gonna be taking the fall semester off this year so maybe i can get back into reading during that period of time where i'm figuring out what i want to do i'm not really sure a hundred percent of what my plans are gonna be 
I just know that I want to spend some time working on my Etsy shop. I want to just spend some time decompressing because I've been in school since preschool. I have not stopped um, in 20 something years. So I just need a break. Maybe reading will be the one thing that I pick up in that time frame. I'd like to be productive with my time, obviously. So I'd, I think reading would be a good way to do that. Focusing on the Etsy shop and having a lot of fun with my designs. All of those things. But it's been a big decision and it's been a long time coming. So while I've like thought about it like over and over again for several months now and I've talked it through with my therapist and my friends and my boyfriend and my family. Um, there are still a lot of unknowns. You, you can talk about something to death, but there's still going to be unknowns until you actually do it. So I'm just figuring stuff out, figuring it out as I go along. That's kind of always been how I've done things. I kind of like it. I mean, the flowers look a little odd, um, like placement wise, but I do think they add something that I'm not getting through like the books and the layered watercolor alone. And once I get the boxes in here, I think it'll make a little bit more sense what's going on. But I'm building up some big clusters in the corners. And that's just my starting place. I don't really know what I was like planning on doing with these warm headers. I thought maybe they could be like another fun shape, but I might just put those off to the side along with the book washi. I feel like that might be overkill unless I want to like go through the center with it, but we'll, we'll see what happens in a little bit. So I'm going to take these and this is just going to be like a really talkative video um, where I talk about everything in this video. Um, it's been a long week. And I think that's probably been aided by the fact that I haven't had hot water for most of the week. Um, like my water heater broke on me. Um, and this is the second time, like at my last apartment, I, okay, I'm not going to say I broke the water heater, but it broke in the last apartment and it broke in this apartment. And it was the same issue both times. So I'm like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, but how can you do anything wrong when you're just taking a shower? Anyway, hot water went out. It was a very sad moment in my life because I was like, I got to take a shower, but there is no hot water here. What am I going to do? So I've been dealing with cold, cold showers for the last like few days. And that's of my own making. Um, if I had called my landlord and said, hey, the hot water's out, they would have done something about it. My landlords are great and they're always really responsive to like any issues that might come up. And I think that's in part why I didn't call them. And I know that sounds really convoluted, but I knew as soon as I like made that like email or pl place that phone call that they would have someone over immediately. So I had to like think like, okay, well, what do I have going on today? I do classes from home a lot of the, a lot of the week. Um, just like Zoom classes are still a thing. So I'm like, I can't have like someone in here working while I'm in Zoom class in like, the room next door like it's gonna be noisy for me it's gonna be weird for them so I was like trying to push it off to a time that was like more convenient because I knew they were gonna send someone over like ASAP and I just didn't want to deal with that right away and plus I'm a little like I've always been kind of protective of my space like having people over in my apartment always kind of like makes me nervous and whether that be like friends or family um, especially like maintenance workers. So I didn't want to do that. And I just kind of kept pushing it off. And I don't remember how many days it's been without like hot water, but it has been a few. Um, and they finally, I finally was like, I'm just going to send the email. I'm tired of my, my cold showers. I got to the point where I had, um, I felt like so like gross because you know, you're only taking so long of a shower when it's like freezing cold water. So I was like, I, I feel so gross. I'm going to take a bath. Um, and I obviously don't have hot water. So I, I boiled a bunch of pots of water on the stove and was like, okay, four inches of water bath. I think I need to call the plumber. So that got resolved today, which I'm thankful for. And maybe that's what I'll do after this video is like take an actual shower for the first time in a couple days. Um, I've been taking showers, but they've not been warm ones. Trying to decide what I want to do here. 
I'm like, maybe I could do another cluster right up here. I, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have put both of these in the upper right. I should have just done one big one in the center and then no cluster up here on the top of Sunday. But there's not much of a fix to that unless I want to peel those stickers up and I just don't think I want to do that. So I'm going to just start building up my cluster here. And I don't think a quote is like the right solution in that cluster just because those books are already there. So maybe I'll go back with the florals. These are really fun and they match her Mother's Day sticker sheet. I don't really remember when Mother's Day is. Um, I probably should have kept that in mind as I was picking out stickers for this week, but I'm pretty sure it's next week. So we shall see because I have Mother's Day stickers from my own shop that I'm very excited to use. And then I have Mother's Day stickers from Create with Mandy as well that I want to make sure that I use. So. Gotta keep that in mind as I'm planning stuff out. It's looking a little scattered at this point, so maybe I go ahead and stick some boxes in and try to bring things together. I think I'm primarily going to be using these two shapes or sizes of the gold colorful boxes. These are just some loose sheets that I've acquired. But I need a meeting on Monday and then I have class on Monday. So these two things are just going to go here. I don't know what else I want to put like around them. Maybe some more flowers when it comes down to it, but I will decide that in a little bit. And then on Tuesday, I've got class that I teach. And that one can go here. We're just kind of aligning things into a grid as I normally do. And then I typically have office hours. And I know my students have a paper that's due on the following Monday, so I should probably put a box to make sure that that gets done. And then after that, I go to class. And I know I have to fill out a discussion board for this week, so I should have like a little page flag, but I don't know. Maybe I should have done a smaller box for my office hours and then the page flag underneath that. So I'll peel this one up and do a little rearranging. And I feel like the harsher shapes of these boxes will kind of help even out some of the organic forms that I have going on with like that watercolor, um, like the florals, etc., the torn edges of the book pages. And then on Wednesday, this one's not going to work here because there's stuff up in that box. So we'll just start down here, leave a little extra breathing room for my corner cluster. On Wednesday, I have class and then I have work. And I feel like this is an appropriate size for work. So we'll do that. On Thursday, I have an appointment in the morning and then I'm covering for one of my fellow TAs. So I'm going to be doing their section on Thursday. I don't even know what the theme is for this week. Each week has like a different theme. Um, like we've done a week on feminist art. We've done a week on eco art. All of the different topics that you need to address in an art history class. But if I'm teaching an extra section this week, I probably should be well aware of what the theme is because I'm going to have to do three different lessons on it. This one's going to go over this line, so I'm taking my white out and just removing that line so that I don't see it through the middle middle of this box. So that's going to go there on Friday. I'm trying to think of what I have. I know I have my section that I teach in the morning. And then I have a paper proposal due. So I'm going to go ahead and take this grid pattern box and put that in the center. It's a pretty substantial paper proposal due and it cements like what I'd like my final paper to be on for this class. And final projects are coming up really fast after this. So this is a pretty late paper proposal to be due. So you gotta make sure that gets turned in. And I know we lose points if it doesn't get turned in on time. So you gotta make sure. Um, podcast, new episode is going live on Friday. 
And maybe I should put this like up so that this box aligned. I don't know. Like I thought it would be good centered, but maybe it just needs to go up ever so slightly. I would tell you what we talk about in this new episode of the podcast, except I don't actually know because we have not recorded it yet. So stay tuned for the podcast that I know nothing about. I would say our last episode um, was really good. The one about the Etsy boycott, a lot of fun conversation there. Um, so I recommend that one, but I mean, yeah, who wouldn't recommend their own podcast? The link is always down below in the description of my videos. If you're interested, we talk about like grad school and planners and just like regular life stuff. I'm looking for another full size box with that grid pattern for Saturday because my cousin is having her bridal shower on Saturday. So I also have to pick up my sister from school on Friday. She had a pretty bad concussion. Well, actually she's had two concussions this semester. So she's not really supposed to be driving. Um, so I gotta pick her up on the way back to my parents for this bridal shower. And it's actually a joint bridal shower with my cousin and then my other cousin's fiance. They're both getting married this summer. Um, so I'm gonna be at two different weddings this summer, but they're having a combined bridal shower on this Saturday because I think it was the only time that worked out for everyone. So I gotta be sure that's on the calendar. And then Sunday is just trivia. And I don't want one of these boxes. I want like another full size box, but I don't know if that's gonna be too much. I'll go ahead with one of the square boxes. I know this one's cut a little wonky, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. So this one is then gonna go here on Sunday. And now I gotta figure out how to decorate around the rest of this. It's looking a little bare for my liking. The clusters are a little restrained. So I gotta figure out something that'll make an impact. Maybe the book washi will help. I'm gonna start with one of the skinnier strips of this book washi and just add some horizontal accents in here. And if I had more book stickers, I would use them like bookshelves, but I don't, unfortunately. I do wish that Mandy created like a sheet of standalone book stickers because I just love the color palette and I love her design of like this and this. I just wish I had a few more of those. So I'm doing that to kind of divide things off. And then I'm gonna take this one that like almost, almost fills this box. I think it'll be fine. So I'm gonna use that there. Taking the other one in that same width. I'm pretty sure it's that same width. Let me just measure. It's a little skinnier, um, but if they're far enough apart, does it really matter? Probably not. And I think this should go across all three of these ones. And now I'm kind of regretting my choice to put this here because it looks a little too close to what's going on on Monday through Wednesday. So if I move this up to the top of Thursday, how does that work out for us? A little close to that cluster, but I think better. And I do like how it makes it a little bit more horizontal. I don't think I'm going to be needing any more of the book washi though. I'm wanting to pair in some other washi and I know these are all like kind of the same neutral thing. Some of them I use a lot, some of them I don't use as much. I don't know, I feel like maybe this is a little too thick for what I'm looking for. I could cut it down, especially with the grid pattern one. That's really easy to like trim to the size that you want. Or I have these skinnier ones that might be a little bit easier. This one's from the Teresa Collins Be Happy box all that time ago. I like the text, but I just don't think it works well with the theme that I have going on to have like a bunch of repeating text when there's already so much text to begin with. And then this one's a little bit more of like a dainty floral or like greenery kind of thing. But I don't know about it because there's no black on, in the spread yet. Um, and I'm worried that it might just be a little too much. Oh, okay. Oh, it's one with the little backer on it, isn't it? It's fun. I'm just like looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just skip the washi and think of other things that might complete this spread. More florals wouldn't hurt. I feel like that's always a good solution to my problems. I'm looking up here at this Thursday cluster and it's just a little odd. 
Um, the placement of the florals over the watercolor isn't cutting it for me. Maybe a quote would be better up here. So I'm peeling this one away for now. And I'm going to take, I'll take all the books. And I could pull in some stickers from my own bookish sticker sheet. Um, cause you know, they're, they're all book themed. I just don't know if the colors would work as well with what I'm doing. This one just feels a little off for right now. So I'm just going to stick that right here. I'll continue with the orange that it was and just put like some other kind of floral designs in here. It just feels so scattered. I don't know. Um, and maybe the single one isn't the one that I want. Maybe I need like the trio of them to like even things out. While I figure out the florals, I will tell you about what I've been watching on TV lately because I've been watching a lot of things on TV lately. This is going to be your like check in with Caitlin. Um, plan with me that's all of my life updates small to big I finally got done watching the ultimatum which is that other um like reality dating show I suppose you could call it that's hosted by the same people as love is blind and it is crazy um like I've seen some crazy reality tv but this one was definitely like up there on the list and the premise behind it is that there's six couples, and in all relationships, one of them wants to get married, and the other one is uncertain. So, like, one of them issues, like, an ultimatum, like, we either get married or we break up. That's, like, the, the premise. And so there's six couples. They all go to this, like, hotel resort thing in Austin, Texas. And they have to like pair up with someone out of the other couple and then they go into like this three week trial marriage with someone else where they are like officially broken up with their their original partner and then after the three weeks are done they do a three week trial marriage with the person that they like started this experiment with uh to see if like things have changed or they've addressed their problems and it's just messy because like everyone's dating everyone's partners and it I mean, it makes for good TV, but there's a lot of drama. Drama ensues, and yeah, I watched the finale, and I was not expecting, like, the way that it actually turned out. So, highly recommend if you're into, like, bad reality TV. Like, reality TV that is, like, so, so bad that it's good. I don't know how I'm feeling about the florals. It just... There needs to be something bigger in this spread. It just needs like a statement piece and I can't tell what that's going to be. So I'm grabbing the Happy Blooms book because I want like a statement floral. And I think these look close enough to the ones from Create with Mandy that they're not gonna be super distracting, but they're gonna add in something that takes up a lot more space to kind of counterbalance out all of those really dainty little florals. So this one's gonna go up here in the sidebar. I can already tell the difference. Oh, I think that brings things together nicely. And then I want to take another piece of it to go like maybe up here in this area. I feel like this is going to be too much, this like second half of that. So I'm going to take one of these and cut it down. I only need a little bit of this floral. We'll go with like this much. So I could either do, oh no, <laughs> I could either do like the really skinny long stretch of it, which I think will kind of get in the way of what I already have going on up there, or I could do this piece. So I'm going to start here and put that up the side of the page. Maybe I should have moved that out a little bit more, but I think it's fine. Kind of cradles into that corner nicely. There's even another page of them. So to fill in this area down at the bottom of Wednesday, maybe I'll put one of these on top of this fragment. Anyway, as I was saying, I finished watching The Ultimatum. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought. Um, I know a lot of people have been watching that lately, so I'm interested to hear how other people are reacting to that show. I'm trying not to give spoilers because I know it's a fairly new 
show. It's on Netflix, by the way, if you're looking for it. It's on Netflix. If you enjoyed Love is Blind, you'd probably enjoy this one. If you don't like that kind of TV, you probably wouldn't enjoy this one. So that's there. I'm also watching, and I, I got HBO Max. I, I paid for the subscription because I wanted to watch Euphoria, which I've seen all of it now, but I think my sister is still using the account to finish watching Euphoria. So I'm like, I'll just watch some more shows that are on here because there were a few things on HBO Max that I was like interested in watching, but would only watch like, or only could watch if I had the subscription. So I'm watching the Sex in the City, uh, like reboot. It's not a reboot, but like the reunion show. Um, it's called And Just Like That. And I had heard ahead of time, it was not like, it's not the best TV, um, especially if you've seen the original Sex in the City and you really like that. It's not that kind of quality, but it's nice to see everyone back and acting get together, except for the uh, actress who plays Samantha, who is not back in this reboot. They kind of address it, they kind of don't. Um, but it's good, it's fun to have on in the background while I'm working on the stickers. Just been watching a lot of like TV to keep myself occupied. I love, love, love this new Happy Blooms book. I think it's so pretty. I know I don't normally do after the pen on this channel, but I just want to add in the times with like a colored marker to kind of tie things together. I don't know which one I want to use. This one's kind of like a brown, like a pinky brown. I like that. This one I feel like is going to be too light. And these are the zebra click art pens. Yeah, that's a little too light. Um, they're zebra click art pens. I got them on Amazon for fairly cheap. Oh, that is bright. We're not doing that. Here's another like taupe color. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. But as I was saying, I got these on Amazon for pretty cheap. And they do a nice job. Like they're skinny enough that you can write with, but like they're colorful, they're really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and like speed this up and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the times at the top of everything for the things that I know. Some of these things I don't actually know the time of yet, but I'm just gonna fill in as much as I can. I think that kind of helped to bring all the colors together. I'm gonna go grab some page flags because I do know a few specific areas where I'm going to need them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place those ahead of time. For those, I'm grabbing blush in it and I'm gonna go with the brown ones to kind of complement the, the marker I just placed on the page. I feel like the pink just isn't right. So I think I had something where did I say I needed things? Okay, there was a discussion board due on Tuesday, but it needs to be submitted on Monday. So I'm gonna place this one on Monday. I could even do it up at the top of Monday. Give a little extra room for that. Looks a little awkward there though. I know I'm not like trying to like be really picky about like where, where things go decoratively because it does need to be functional. I need to have all the like decorative stuff be functional, but there are small aesthetic decisions like that that I can make. And then I think I needed one on Thursday. So this one's going to go here. And then I'll take another one for Friday because there's something on Friday too. Oh, I got to pick up my sister. That's what it is. So that'll be this little page flag down here. I'm going to put one up on Saturday because I think I have dinner plans with my sister while I'm visiting my family, but I think that's good for that. And with that, I think I'm going to call my one book wonder spread done. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back into the planner and just get a good look at it. And I think that's going to be it on this one. I love this take on the one book wonder uh, planable challenge. I'll leave the information for the challenges down below. They always have really cute themes. So there's always a fun way to like interpret them or make them your own. I'll also leave links for Create with Mandy and According to Allie. I know people who are reps on both of their teams. So I'll be sure to like leave their coupon codes as well in case you want to save a little money and support some fellow content creators. So I like the way this one turned out. Love the color palette. It was hard for me to like restrain myself from like putting too many things in here, but I think it turned out well. Um, I do like the way this looks. And once the text is all on the page, it'll get a little bit busier. So 
there's that, but I love the color palette that all of these stickers kind of formed, and I'm just going to call it good on this one. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner-related content, and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans, where I share after-the-pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching, and happy planning!